Look at the colour of that. Because I don't want to look chiselled. I don't know what I've done with it already. Beautiful. Why am I so nervous? Hey honeys, welcome back to my channel and another video. And today we're in a different setting, which I don't think you've ever seen. But for anyone that knows me and is watching, that you'll all know that I'm in my beauty bar. Because for those that don't know, I am also a beautician and a makeup artist. That's still really weird to say. But I'm very excited to get my beauty bar room finished at home. And then I can finally move everything from here home and be able to do it from home. So for today's video, I thought that I could do a current favourite, like, sun-kissed, glowy makeup look. So I'll show you all the products that I'm absolutely loving at the moment and what I do to create my glowy, sun-kissed look. So here's a video that absolutely nobody asked for and I'm starting to sweat already. So I'll just quickly show you what cases I use and just a quick overview of my kit. Just for those who want to be nosy. <laughs> so I'm just going to take you with me because it's a lot easier. So I'm currently using my Made by Mitchell cases, which are fantastic, by the way. I absolutely love these. So this one is the wheeled case, which does actually have a front pocket with just lots of random bits in there. And then we've got the main compartment which has a plastic cover over so nothing spills and inside here we've got my powders and highlighters, foundations at the back I've then got illuminating bases at the back as well side here apart from that primer I've got skincare pieces in this one some setting sprays and bronzers I've got my brow gels and mascaras some more primers there and then in the middle here I do have blushes and then under here are all of my brushes which they don't all actually fit there and then there is a wee zip compartment here too which I've got makeup palettes in there. So moving on to the other case, I do have another Made by Mitchell case. This one is not the wheeled one, this is just the carry case which does fit onto the wheeled case which is fantastic. So inside again we've got the plastic cover. So starting here I've got all my Made by Mitchell blushes. I've got some like colour correcting and concealers. Then this whole bit is concealers as well. And then we've got some lip gloss products. This is just a random one that I've got a massive body sponge and some body oil and shimmer and some eye patches. This one is lipsticks. I do plan on putting my lipsticks into palettes whenever I get round to it, which will be, I've got no idea when, so that's full of lipsticks. Then here we've got like the loose eyeshadows and pigments, and we've got some shadow sticks as well. And in the back here I've just got some palettes, so I've got the Tarte Pro To Go, a MAC one, and a Charlotte Tilbury one. And then at the side we've got all my fake lashes and individual lashes. And then here is where I keep all my lip pencils, eye pencils, brow pencils, etc. So we've got eye pencils here, just got some like applicators there, brow pencils, which I need a lot more actually. And then all here I've got some lip pencils. So they are my cases. And then I've just got some large palettes as well. I've got the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette, the Morphe 35T. The Morphe 35XO and the Morphe 350 and then I've got the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Neutrals palette which I absolutely love and this size is great to take away on holiday or weekends away anything like that. So let's get started. So now that we're all up close and personal let's start off with skincare but before that I'm going to shove my hair out the way. Lovely big spam head. <laughs> Starting off with my Emerald Lease Cream which this stuff is very, very hydrating because we would like a nice supple base as smooth as a baby's bottom and this actually smells quite nice. Then I'm just going to pop on some lip balm, just any old lip balm, just to prep those lips. 
And then just being nice to my dry bits, I'm going to apply some Bobbi Brown face base, which smells like a spa. This smells so dreamy. Just on my really dry patches, which is around my nose, because my lovely niece and nephew gave me their stinking cold. So now that I've done the skincare, next I'm gonna move on to primer. I'm using the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer and it just feels like hair gel, very weird. Then I'm gonna be using my By Terry Brightening CC Cream, a cream? <laughs> the By Terry Brightening CC Cream, just to give me a nice glowy base. And top tip, if you really want to try this, I'll do a dupe and it's ridiculous. I know they slightly look different colors, but you get the gist. Aldi's is, I think it was 2 dollars or 3 dollars and by Teddy is 61 pound. Seriously. I was raging once I found out that Aldi did a dupe because it wasn't long since I bought this. <laughs> so actually, we'll give the Aldi one a go. I fancy trying this. Just a pump onto my fingers. And literally just shoving this everywhere. Just gives me a nice glowy base. It actually smells very similar to the By Terry one. I'm impressed Aldi and they do come in two different colours. <laughs> so of course I had to buy both. So then I'm going to apply the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Foundation. And I do absolutely love the Light Wonder Foundation just because it's lightweight, it's not too heavy and it's just perfect for like the natural skin. So I'm just going to mix shade 1 and 1.5 just because that's what I do. So I'm just taking my Peaches and Cream PC06 brush just to blend that all in and just starting from the centre and blending out. Look at the colour of that, oh my god. Don't worry, trust the process. You have to trust it. And please do not forget down the neck because there is nothing worse. Oh, also my mirror is here by the way, if you're wondering why I'm looking here. That's where the mirror is. So I'm literally just pushing that into the skin and again, ears. Why do people forget ears? Like, you're pretty much there anyway, just please pat them. <laughs> blend, 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 blend. Into the hairline as well, please. Because we're going for natural, so yes, please do not forget. And look how well that's covered up my redness already. Looks slightly rosy on camera, but honestly in person, this has covered it up very well. I love this foundation. I'm not one for very heavy makeup, so it's perfect. I also don't have many blemishes that I want to cover up, so that's why I didn't go in with spot concealing first. So for concealer, I'm using the Mini Tarte Tape Shape Concealer in the shade 20B, which is light. And to be honest, you do not need much of this because she goes far. She goes very far. And then, and the brush I'm using is my all-time favourite concealer brush, is the Pat McGrath Concealer Brush. Look how she is shaped and it's so similar to your finger, which is perfect. I'm dying to try the foundation brush of this. So oh, just pressing that in and I look like a drag queen. <laughs> I'm just bringing it down the side of my nose. Shh, quiet. Like, I don't know if you can see that, but that's like the tiniest amount of concealer. And then just going back in with foundation brush and just blending so that it's not obvious, pardon me. So now that I look like Casper the Friendly Ghost and I'm dead, I'm gonna put some color back into me with my ultimate favorite NARS cream bronzer in the original shade Laguna, which is number two. And going in with this angled peaches and cream brush in PC21, and just following my cheekbone, like look, look at the color. I love a cream bronzer. And that's with like hardly, okay, that looks a lot. It's hardly anything on my brush. But I absolutely love this bronzer. 
just for how natural it looks and how easy it is to blend and it also makes me look alive and warm and sun-kissed because that's the whole point of this video is a sun-kissed look and then into the hairline to create a smaller looking five head i also saw a trick if you take like the slightest bit of bronzer and if you suck in where your teeth touch like <laughs> like here can you see that bit so all i'm going to do is just gently tap there with the smallest amount of product which just creates i don't know if you can see it just creates this more like chiseled look it's not chiseled because i don't want to look chiseled but i just think that gives more depth and definition to my face and i really like this technique and then just taking a very small brush this is the real techniques eye blending brush i'm just going to take the tiniest bit and pop it under my bottom lip. I just think it makes my lips look fuller once I've got lipstick on, which I like, but not horrendously full. So now I am looking sun-kissed and glowy. Next, I'm gonna move on to cream blusher. I'm absolutely torn between using the Made by Mitchell A Shy Boy or Melon Sorbet. I don't know. This gives the most natural, loveliest like blush. And this is a lovely like corally pink. I might go with a shy boy. I might regret that. I'm gonna go with a shy boy. Look at the color. I'm just gonna put the tiniest bit on the back of my hand. So I'm just taking the Peaches and Cream PC27 brush and just blending that out on the back of my hand first because these, look at that, that's so pigmented because the blushes are so pigmented, you genuinely hardly need anything. And I'm just going to tap, like look at that already. I love this color so much. Like if I sit back, I just love the look it gives, it's so subtle in person. Mmm, mm, I love it. So I'm not much of an eyeshadow person, but for use, I will apply just a little bit. So I'm gonna use the Jaclyn Hill Divine Neutrals palette, which is divine, hence the name. I'm just gonna take the shade Good Vibes, tap any excess off, and I'm just gonna apply that in my crease, just to warm it up a wee bit. I think it's just because I've never felt good at eyeshadow. I think that's why I probably don't ever wear it. it just looks like a five-year-old's done it. <laughs> so then with the Peaches PC14 brush, I'm just gonna take the same shade, Good Vibes, and I'm gonna go under my lash line, like on the outer corner, to about halfway. It feels weird seeing me with like, just the tiniest bit of eyeshadow on. So for the center of the lid, I'm gonna go for the Peaches and Cream loose eyeshadow pigment in the shade Gatsby. This is absolutely beautiful. It's like the most stunning gold, but it does get everywhere. Oh my God, look at that color. <gasps> look at it. Oh my God, I've hardly got any on my brush as well. Look at that, wow. Look how much that like opens up my eye. Going in with the old faithful Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and the Peaches and Cream PC28 brush. I've actually got like a wee finger powder puff that I'm actually gonna use instead of the brush. And just pressing that in. So I'm just going to press some extra powder onto my oily bits, just so we're not dripping. Then I'm just setting my cream bronzer with the Benefit Hula Bronzer in Caramel. I'm just going over where we had the cream bronzer and setting my blush with the NARS Orgasm. Then I'm not actually gonna do anything with my brows just because I have recently done them. So all I'm gonna add is the HD Brows Brow Glue, which literally does what it says, it does not budge. 
So just combing this through. Oh God, I thought I had a, I thought I had a sparse bit, but I don't, we're good. And just brushing it so you've got that textured look and nothing too horrendous. I don't know what I've done with my original size one, but I'm just going in with the MAC Stack Mascara, which is my all time favorite. Be quite nice if they did it in waterproof though. <laughs> Beautiful. And finishing off the face with the Hourglass palette. Look how pretty that is. Very pretty. So with this Morphe brush, I'm going in with the two shades here, the finishing powder in dim light and soft light. Don't really know what I'm doing with this, but we'll just douse ourselves in it, it's fine. And then taking the beaming strobe light and just lightly brushing that on the high points. Don't forget the Cupid's bow. Taking my MAC lip liner in strip down and just lining my lip. I always just slightly overline my cupid's bow and the base of my lip. Then taking the Modern Matte Lipstick by Jamie Genevieve in the shade Coming In Hot and it's slightly broken and just applying uh, uh, this to a lip. <laughs> I would absolutely love to try more of her shades. And then finishing off the lip with Max Modesty which is very well loved, if you can't tell. And this is a, this is a cream sheen lipstick, so it gives just a wee sheen, hence the name. Just because I personally don't like matte shades on myself. And there we go, just a wee sheen. And then finishing her all off with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray Dupe from Aldi. You heard it here first, probably not first because I've had this for a long time. Aldi do so many dupes and if you can get your hands on them, grab them before they go because this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray Dupe and I think this was like 3 98 And I literally drown myself in this stuff. She's wet. And that's the finished look. Very glowy, very sun-kissed. So that's my current sun-kissed glowy look with all my favourite products. So thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you did like it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will try and link everything that I used down below so that it's easy to find. And we'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.